let's go to Blue MAGA. Um, the ambassador of Blue MAGA, the top ambassador, is a man by the name of Keith Olbermann, who, believe it or not, at one time uh, was a renowned cable news host and now likes to embarrass himself on a regular basis on Twitter. So he posted, following the Supreme Court's unanimous decision, the Supreme Court has betrayed democracy. Its members, including Jackson, meaning Katanji Brown Jackson, Kagan, and Sotomayor, have proved themselves inept at reading comprehension. And collectively, the court has shown itself to be corrupt and illegitimate. It must be dissolved. So there you have Keith Olbermann arguing that a major part of our system of checks and balances should absolutely be dissolved because they had a unanimous decision that he didn't like. <laughs> Insanity. Yeah. yeah, so I think he's lost his mind. Totally. Uh, so a couple of things here. Number one, uh, oh, can't they read? Well, wait a minute now. Constitutional law is very complicated. And I could personally attest to the word equal being very much in dispute. Even though it seems like a crystal clear word, it is one that has taken thousands and thousands of pages of Supreme Court decisions to adjudicate what the word equal means. So for Oberman to do sophistry and be like, "Oh, they can't read. They should be dissolved." That's childish. Okay, so that's number 1. Number 2, his main case is we got you got to vote against Trump because the democracy is on the line. And now he's saying let's dissolve one of the branches of our government. <laughs> it's a totally indefensible, just moronic. And when you're attacking the liberal justices, look, if there was a money in politics case or other cases where they said something egregious, okay, and I have that conversation. But in this case, they were unanimous for a reason because no one adjudicated Trump to be an insurrectionist other than random Democrats in two or three states. That's not how the process works. That's not how the process should work. But guys like Oberman, who are, have, are blue MAGA, have lost their minds. That's why you call them blue MAGA. Right, Red MAGA thinks Trump won the 2020 election, et cetera. So they lost their minds in that way. It, it detached from objective reality. And Blue MAGA is just as detached. The other thing that Oberman is always crying about is don't believe numbers. Numbers are lies. Only believe my emotions, right? And that is not a rational way to think. And he's become a buffoon, really. Right. And the numbers. Saying that, oh, yeah, no, no polling matters. There's no such thing as science when it comes to polling. The data sucks. Numbers are for losers. Oh, emotions, right? Totally. I mean, it's look, I totally understand that commentary when you're dealing with one standout poll, but the results that are pretty damning for Biden in the general have been replicated in poll after poll after poll. At some point, you have to maybe accept reality. And that's part of the problem, Jenk. We have a growing group of people on both sides who just do not want to accept reality. And that makes that makes everything so much more difficult. And what drives me insane is that the media has become super partisan. So you either watch left wing media or right wing media and audiences have become so accustomed to hearing one ideological side that once they get any information that dispels preconceived notions, you know, they don't react well to it. And I think that's part of the problem. And so we look, we obviously have our own political views and our own political, you know, preferences, but the facts are the facts. And we're not gonna hide that from you, even if it's uncomfortable to know what's really going on in the country. Yeah, it's not that hard. I mean, Oberman was nominally in news before. I mean, so I guess at MSNBC, he was mainly doing propaganda for Democrats, and now he's just mask off on it. But uh, so I hate Donald Trump. I probably dislike Donald Trump more than Keith Oberman does. That doesn't mean I'm gonna lie to you and tell you that he's losing when he isn't. Every poll shows him up by four or five, and the Democratic candidate has to win by four or five in order to win the Electoral College. And I'm super curious what these blue MAGA delusional types are going to do when Biden loses. And at this point, if the election were held today, he'd get landslided. He would lose every swing state. So, and they, right now, if you tell the Obermans of the world, they'll say, no, Nate Silver's lying, Jake Uber is lying. And li Keith Oberman literally did that in a podcast last week. Ezra Klein is lying, Bill Maher is lying, and he put me in that group, right? And he's, they're all lying, they're all, all, the numbers are lying, right? You look so deranged and desperate. So what happens when that desperation and emotional you know, instability runs into the fact that Biden lost, mm -hmm. right, in 2024? 
if that's what happens. I mean, two, 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 I, I, don't, I don't want Trump to win. But if that happens, are they gonna go full MAGA? Are they gonna be like, no, they stole the election. No, no, we don't accept it, stop the steal, continue the steal. No, we don't accept it. There's mules, there's 2,000 mules. Open I don't know. It's starting I mean, to sound like 2,000 mule territory. It is interesting that like once you expand your mind and accept that there are people on the Democratic side who be, behave similarly to, you know, the hardcore MAGA types who also refuse to accept reality. You kind of see the world for what it really is, right? It, it, there is no good side, bad side, people who accept reality and people who don't, meaning Democrats do and Republicans don't. You have a faction in both parties who have just completely lost their minds. And yeah, it and, is concerning. And look, Blue MAGA has a longer history than Red MAGA, if we're being honest. And it's not as deep, right? Red MAGA wind up in la la land, right? Just totally detached from facts. A bunch of them thinking Trump was still president or was gonna be reinstated. These things are just off this planet, right? But Blue MAGA has been insisting that Democrats who take millions of dollars in corporate donations don't get affected by that money at all. That they're angels and that their ideology and their how much they care to do the right thing overwhelms the fact that they're getting millions of dollars in political contributions. And their voting record is identical to what their donors want. But they're like, no, that is a wild, wild coincidence. We never really explore that enough in mainstream media for, for sure. They never ever talk about that, right? But that is a lunatic position.